First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. So then we get taken out of the Idaho Falls sky cab looking to the south. You see some dark clouds off in this week. So we've seen those clouds building throughout the day, and everything's been pretty much hanging out into the foothills and mountains. Some of these clouds are going to try to spill into Idaho Falls later on, but it looks like most of the thunderstorms for tonight, again, into the southeastern and the eastern highlands with winds picking up into the teens and 20s. Let's go to First Lord Viper radar, and we can see thunderstorms into Dubois and pushing north, uh, north of Dubois, I should say, and towards Island Park there, the Snake Highlands. Also getting some thunderstorms around the Tetons, but the biggest area of concern is still. The flash flood alerts that we've been seeing here with thunderstorms and some pretty intense storms moving through the southern highlands of Idaho. The flash flood warning for Pocatello that has been allowed to expire. Now we're sitting with a flash flood warning. This is for southern Power County. This is with the storm that is in the southern end of the Arbon Valley. And we have a pretty intense thunder cell just getting into the northern edge of Oneida County here. And you see that spinning circle. That's some wind shear that the Viper radar is picking up there as that storm makes its way just to the north of Malad. And we're seeing some scattered thunderstorms over Lava Hot. Bring some pretty intense cells there just to the east of Aramo, south of Lava, and also uh, around the Downey area. And also, those storms are pushing a little closer to Swan Lake. They're going to push further towards Grace and Soda Springs. Let's go up to Island Park here. Got a good, de decent thunderstorm right over Henry's Lake. This is getting right on top of Highway 20. We got some good thunderstorm activity right over West Yellowstone. That storm right there is uh, pretty intense over uh, southern Montana right now near the border. But for tonight, thunderstorms will be dwindling down to nothing. And by tomorrow morning, we should be sitting with a clear sky. But this is a tease in the forecast because as we pick up the thunderstorm threat for tomorrow, you can see here green all across the map. Once again, same scenario. Scattered thunderstorms. Some folks will bask in the sunshine all day long. Other folks will be hit and <laughs> really pounded on with those thunderstorms for Saturday afternoon. Then we get into Sunday. Sunday, a drier pattern sets in. Sunday afternoon, just a slight chance of a lingering storm, but we're starting to break free of this thunderstorm pattern as we get into Sunday and into Monday. 43 in Stanley tonight, 56 in Salmon, mid 50s in Idaho Falls and Driggs, upper 40s in Jackson with the lower 50s in Island Park. Back to around 60 for Blackfoot, 65 in Pocatello, 60 in Burley with the upper 50s for Aberdeen, the lower 60s in Lava tonight. We're going with the mid 50s around Montpelier and Soda Springs with the upper 40s for Afton and Jackson, also in Pinedale. Temperatures tomorrow coming back into those warm levels. And again, you're going to feel that humidity in the air. You're going to feel that stickiness out there because we're going to be looking for just enough humidity to fight for the thunderstorms. Of course, it's nothing like what they see in Florida and Texas, but we will definitely see the higher than average humidity levels for our region with all this monsoonal moisture rolling in here with upper 80s in Idaho Falls, lower 90s in Chalice. The eight day forecast here we go with the thunderstorms through tomorrow, drier conditions for Idaho Falls on Sunday with highs into the lower 90s. We'll start to dry out here for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then thunderstorms to greet us at the end of the eight day forecast at Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with highs still above average near 90. Rexburg will hit highs around 88 for Sunday, 90 on Monday. Rexburg thunderstorms probably next week. Yeah, that's a good possibility there. Pocatello, we're going to see thunderstorms for tomorrow with a high of 92. Drier conditions on Sunday. Pocatello Monday, a high of 95. It's going to be hot and dry. Monday, Blackfoot highs here around 91 on Sunday, 93 for Monday. Plenty of sunshine into Monday and Tuesday there with thunderstorms beginning on Thursday. Jackson, you'll have a threat for thunderstorms on Sunday. That also goes for the National Park, Island Park as well. Tuesday, a high of 81 with a few scattered storms. And then late into the week there, you're seeing more storms on Thursday. We'll take a quick break. Be back after this.